lovers welcome back to my channel so stay tuned I'm sharing cute tips on how I apply my foundation and how to prep and prime your skin to ensure that you have that flawless base for your foundation to ensure that you also get the best value also what I love about the foundation so let's get started shall we <laughs> Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this is your first time, welcome and thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate you all and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is Terry and you're watching Terry Berry. My fairy godmother Rihanna just came out with 10 in between foundation shades and 50 matching shades of concealers. That's designed to accommodate every single shade out there so i got two shades of the pro filter foundation i got it in the shades 460 and 450 so as you can see the shade 460 was way too orange for me so i'll be using the shade 450 in this tutorial it is a long wear soft matte foundation but you can build it up to get really really full coverage but i like to go in for a really light skin finish when it comes to this foundation because a little goes a long way i don't need to color correct even though you can see i have some hyperpigmentation mario budesco has become a staple in my foundation routine simply because i just love how hydrated my skin feels after I spray just a little bit of this on my skin. It also has a lot of skincare benefits, meaning it's also helping to reduce my hyperpigmentation, I've noticed. I let that dry off and then I go in with my Maybelline Poreless Primer. I'm going to let it sit on my skin for about a minute before I go in with my foundation. This allows the primer to really sink into my skin and make sure that it's actually having enough time to do the work of a primer. <laughs> the RCMA No Color Powder is next and I'm using this for my um, powder before foundation technique. This is to help control oils and it also helps to reduce my smile lines. It really works. If you're sleeping on this technique, please wake up and try it. You only need a few pumps of the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation to get that flawless skin finish. But if you want to go ham and get a full face glam beat, please, by all means, you can use more foundation to get a full makeup look. I think a little goes a long way. I try to pat, tap and press the foundation into my skin while I'm applying it. This is to reduce, you know, the brush stroke marks and all this stuff. It helps the foundation to really melt into your skin to give you that flawless, flawless look. I get better when you're different. Hard to stay resistant when consistent listen. I see jealousy is less than hard commitment. Oh, you a Scorpio, he wouldn't let me finish. The way he looked, I wrongly guessed he was Aquarius. Melanin Goddess vibes, yo. Look how skin like that looks. But wait, I'm not yet done. I'm going to go in with my damp beauty blender and I'm going to tap off all the excess oils that have been produced while I was doing that slow-mo video. Doing going to do my highlight, contour, and eyeshadow, and I'll be back real quick, real quick. Or if I would hit that But I'm hip to your idea of a mystery It's not that I'm ignoring you I kinda just pretend to be But you're a little
So once you're done with your makeup, you're either going with a mattifying setting spray or maybe a dewy finish setting spray. Assumption is belligerent. People come a million, a dozen. The nation is buzzing. What would we be if love wasn't something that can make you feel the pain but also numb you to nothing? It's like, like. I'm going to go in again with a little bit of setting powder. And she's done guys what do you think comment down below if you like how everything looks i i just i love it i love it i live for a fresh face i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video next week bye